Warning, contains sulfites. So what? Dr. Ben Lynch here. You read on the back of your wine bottles or other foods, dried fruits, what have you, and you see warning contains sulfites. Why warning? Big deal. Sulfites are a big deal. And they're a big deal because they cause all sorts of symptoms that you and your patient may have, especially when you drink red wine. Red wines are very high in sulfites. So what happens biochemically? What happens to the sulfites? Sulfites have to be transformed into sulfate. And as that sulfate is transformed, it's peed out, okay? Now, where's that transformation step? How does the body take a sulfite and transform it into a sulfate? Well, there's an enzyme. Of course, there's an enzyme. There's always an enzyme, right? You get sick of that? You shouldn't, because the enzymes, understanding how the enzymes work, is your key to unlocking the questions of why certain things happen. You always go back to the biochemistry and the genetics of your patient, and you can unlock these long mysteries that they're suffering with and solve it. So let's solve this one. Sulfites to sulfate use an enzyme called SUOX. SUOX gets rid of sulfites, the sulfite oxidase. And what it uses in order to do this is a mineral that's very hard to say and find. It's called molybdenum. And molybdenum, what it does is it supports that enzyme to get rid of the sulfites. So if you drink red wine or your patients are drinking red wine and they get these headaches, then if you prescribe them molybdenum and they do much better, it's aha, done. You supported their enzyme to get rid of those sulfites. It's that simple. But let's take it one step further. There's other symptoms going on. Of course there's other symptoms going on. Patients are never that easy. There's all sorts of things happening. What happens when you drink sulfites? Sulfites, something happens that destroys thiamine or reduces the ability for your body to absorb thiamine. Thiamine is a very important nutrient, vitamin B1. And the more sulfites that your patient is drinking, the less vitamin B1 they're getting. They start complaining of fatigue. They start complaining of neurological disorders and so on. Vitamin B1 does hundreds of different enzymes. So if it's deficient, there's gonna be hundreds of different possible conditions that are happening in your patient. Support them with thiamine and support them with molybdenum and try to get them off of red wine containing sulfite drinks. And maybe use white wine or find a lower sulfite drink or no added sulfites. Support them this way. Now, that is one... Whoa, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about this. ShyCon 2015, have you heard about it? You just enjoyed this video, I hope. You're excited about it. This information is very clinically relevant to you and your patients. ShyCon 2015 is an upcoming conference in October that you can't miss. There's 400 like-minded people like me, like yourself, that want to know more about how to optimize the health of your patients. You have four days of it. You have 400 doctors who are wanting to get more information on this and do what they need to do and transform medicine and transform the health of your patient and transform your practice. ShyCon 2015, you can do it. Learn more at seekinghealth.org. Thank you.